the arm, so now it looks like this. Cheech, hatch, like a toggle, and a toggle here. The hands stay about the same distance apart. Cheech, cheech, hatch. I kick with my right leg, my giddy, and then do that movement. Kick with my left leg, then do that movement. So it's my giddy, hiji, my giddy, hiji. My giddy, hiji. My giddy, this foot goes all the way back. Just to recap, so we started off with a natural motion when we brought the elbows up, then we start turning into a technique, and then we can like direct the technique, change it to a cutter technique, where after the kick, I do that, and this is... I think we have to understand the natural way the human body works is going to be the most efficient way to achieve any type of physical activity. We want to go with nature, not against it. So watch closely. Relies on this. Move, your arms tend to move in these these directions. Making that bigger movement, and then again, like the last time, I bend my elbows. Now we've got the rising elbow, maybe a descending elbow this way. Swinging. There's no tension. And as we start to bend the elbows, hatte, hiji out there, rising elbow, and ushiro, hiji out there, a back elbow. Niju ich, niju ne. This type of motion, we've done the turning type of motion. So let's do now with the circular motion. Just do this, each knee. Um, I'm going to start doing this type of motion, a toshi hiji. And we see it in uh, things like furum first. So it's not only about descending elbows, but that's definitely uh, seizan kata. So anytime you hit up or do that, there's also a implied elbow the other direction. Circle, drop that elbow. Knee, circle, drop that. And often when we do the kihon, we like have a stopping point. Application, the stopping point is when it hits something and travels through it. You hang on, reach up, pull down. You know like in the train, you have the emergency cord? Up. Down. Side. Hatte. Otoshi. Yoko. Ich. Ne. Son. Up. Down. Side. Ich. One, two, three. Nay, one, two, three. Itch, nay, it's arch. Good, good,